you know, the, the report really reflects not just the big metropolitan city in that, st in that state. Right. And so we try to make an effort, I think, that was get a full picture of what's happening inside within those borders of that state, you know, going to the, you know, the outside, uh, the rural communities or the suburban communities, which oftentimes are not included in studies because folks go to the main cities. Right. Um, and so I think the study kind of incorporates what's happening in those big metropolitan cities, but also what's happening in the outskirts. Right, and, and also having a study that didn't simply uh, do focus groups or interviews with people who were consumers or people who were receiving prevention services. It was people who are experts as, you know, public health experts in terms of the state, uh, people who had a lot of history as community-based uh, people. And so getting those different vantage points was really important because on one issue, you can get three different uh, perspectives. So we conducted 60 focus group interviews and one-on-one -on -one interviews throughout the U.S. And we had 250 participants uh, that included staff members from state and local health departments, community-based uh, service providers, community leaders and members, especially Latino gay men. As part of the data analysis process, uh, we did two types of coding. The first co uh, type of coding was a more general coding uh, where we summarized uh, s some of the main points of the interview. Uh, and then the other part was an analytical uh, coding strategy where we uh, extracted themes 